I'm here. I made it. <laughs> we, had a little, we had a little trauma getting here tonight. <laughs> just a but, little bit. Just a little, but okay. I'm here. We made it. Yep, we here we are. So, hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> are my clothes on? <laughs> Yeah, I got it. Yeah, we're all here. But we made it, and I'm glad you're here. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming. Great way to spend a Saturday night with our dance therapy. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's been a it's been a nice long day, so I'm ready ready to move. Seriously, me too. Whew. So if you would also check in, I see a couple little notes coming in. So go ahead and yes. check in. Tell me you're Say here. Hi. Um, tell me that we look and sound acceptable. <laughs> or fabulous, or fabulous <laughs> right? <laughs> and we'll get started moving in a little bit. All right. So I'm yeah. gonna check on things, and you can tell us about music. Okay. We're gonna look at um, Middle Earth music again. The um, original CD from Frank Lazaro, which is one of my favorite albums ever. Lots of variety on there, and um, I'm kind of. I haven't quite figured out the solution yet, the music thing with YouTube, so I'm moving away from using so much music, you probably already noticed. Um, I've been reading about, just, I've been taking workshops all weekend long, and one of them's on licensing, and um, people are having trouble, even when they use their own music that they've composed themselves, <laughs> they still get flagged, and it's quite a battle. I think, I'm wondering if YouTube just flags everything. It's, it's, yeah, and it's really hard to go through the process of, of getting yourself unflagged. So there'll be a little bit of music. We'll see what happens. <laughs> but I won't be using as much as I normally do just because it's scary on YouTube. They get really nasty. But tonight, we're going to look at unclogging our upper body. I don't, I've been at a computer all day long like this, right? <laughs> and I don't know if I can stand up. So oh, while well, I'm working on opening up my ribs and chest and upper back and shoulders and arms. I thought I would take you with me and we'll all do that together and it's going to feel wonderful. So let me put on some music and let's just move around a bit. And we're going to feel great. Let's see, I think I'll turn that up just a bit.
support yourself on your legs. Do a nice rib cage circle while you are leaning forward. This really helps you find your upper back. And reverse. in the heel of your hand and push onto the sidewall, imaginary sidewall. One and two and three and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One and two, three, four. One and two and take a rest. Shoulder movement. All right, a little bit more and we'll add it onto things. So tiny little movement. One, two, one, two, one, two. Now, one, two, one, two. Make this gentle. It gets um, a little crazy if you go too rough. So keep it gentle and soft, all right? You can see it's in the upper back. Try to lift your ribs and be tall. And try not to shake everything all together. Sometimes it likes to shake on the bottom as well. So what's helpful is to lift, uh, shift your weight. Side to side, side to side, side to side, good. Now with the rib cage, a little bit in, in the upper back as well, also stretching out the diaphragm, we're gonna contract the ribs up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and rest. So if you're using too much of your chest, and your chest is jumping all over the place. It's gonna be really hard to lift up and down. It's gonna feel like, wow, <laughs> right? It's gonna be really <laughs> awkward. <laughs> so if you're using more shoulders and this is a more gentle movement on the chest, you'll be able to do it. So it's kind of a, a marker to tell you, am I using too much? Because you can do this whole thing by just by shaking your boobs around, right? Just, ha, oh, there they are. But that's not what we want. <laughs> And it doesn't no. feel as, no, especially for some of us, <laughs> you could injure people. Yeah, and myself. <laughs> and, and it doesn't feel good. It, just, it, no. it feels raunchy and it just doesn't feel good. But the shoulder is fine. So lift and a little shoulder shimmy and now ribs. Try again. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Lift. I feel like it looks better already because I'm feeling better. <laughs> I did what I just said. Got into the shoulder and release. So I'm doing it from my upper back and my shoulder and the chest is moving, but I'm not doing it 
leading with the chest. And that way the ribs can pop up and down and it actually feels good. All right, so this is a weird one, but it's cool. Um, weirdly cool. <laughs> <laughs> or foolishly, Fooly. foolishly <laughs> weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it's a chest shimmy, but it's up and down. Up and down. Now, you have to have the right costume on, and it has to be the right music, because you don't mind just stand there. <laughs> yeah, and you don't jump. I, I definitely don't want to You do don't that. jump, but whether or not you use it, it's, I learned it, and I thought, I've not experienced that, and it's, it's very interesting, and it looks cool when it's done subtle. But it's also a really nice um, ribcage isolation, which we're working on today anyway. So I want you to lift and drop, 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 drop. Now what you're going to think about is as you drop, think about your ribs bouncing off of something. Drop, drop, drop. So you're not going lift, lift, you're going dang, 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 dang. <laughs> like a bouncing, like two bouncing balls, <laughs> right? <laughs> bouncing, right? So it's, it's down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And you gently go up and down. Isn't that, it's, that's yeah, cool. It actually looks really good. That's really, that yeah. I've never done that before. I have never done that. Right, that's cool. That looks excellent on you. Why didn't it's you? Really <laughs> cool. and you've got really great posture. And so watch your posture. You, you, ha you cannot. <laughs> right? <laughs> yes, just <laughs> This is a new move. It's not pretty. So, right. up and back. Down, 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 down. Is it, it's kind of, I don't know, I'm looking at the other video. Yeah, like we can't see, we're so far away from the screen. I can't, I can't even it's talk. real, I have to. Oh. <laughs> I scared myself, it's too close. All right, try it again. So, bounce, 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 bounce. Oh yeah, there we go. Now, really. And you have to really relax. Remember when you were first learning to shimmy with your legs and it kind of went right, 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 right. It would stop and start because we would get, we'd get going and then you tighten your legs right. and it stops and then, and then <laughs> same thing. So with the ribs, it has to be just like this, just a very easy bounce. You can't try to push it or it stops. All right. So just... So I can do it for like three or four seconds and then I <laughs> and then I tighten up and there it is, all done. Because <laughs> oh I get excited and they open Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, I got it, got it. Just now it stopped. <laughs> got it, I did it. <laughs> oh. So keep trying. All right. We, you will go here, or however you want to do it, but I'm gonna go here for a second just to loosen things up and then up down. Oh, I did it. And then I and then I lost it, and then and then I lost it again. There <laughs> oh. we go. And then sometimes you go like this, and your head bobbles around, right? And, and then sometimes you think about it too much. Too yeah. Much. And then it goes away. It goes away. But it, it goes away. like in a in a in a neckline that's not super low, in maybe a ballady dress or a vest, or something that's a little bit more covered so it's not blatant that here's my chest, right? It's a little... <laughs> 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 and then, yeah. <laughs> It's not so bad. 
Um, it's just it's just kind of a stop and start right now because we're trying to figure out. So that is a chest shimmy. Chest shimmy up and vertical. Vertical. Okay. Right. So it's kind of like you're sitting in a car. That's doing yeah. It. Just, just this bump, part bump, of bump, bump. Yeah. yeah. That's the only part of you. Right. Just bounce along in the car. Cool. All <laughs> yeah, right. It is neat. It and it's a small move. move. So we have we have horizontal right shoulder shimmy and then chest shimmy vertical. So we have two vertical horizontal. And it, it is pretty. I think just use it as an accent. Don't do it for a super long time. Just like this, you don't do it for a long time. This would be a little bit of an accent just as something. And you know, you could maybe do arms with it or kind of fold your rib mm -hmm. or uh, wrist. And I just think it could be super pretty and graceful. Every, everything is done subtly. It could be really nice. All right, so. I'm going to just double check everything. Okay, see if there's any questions <laughs> or... <laughs> Oh, you also need to wear the right bra. Yeah. <laughs> there is, you know, costume bras are kind of like armor, so they usually give you pretty good support. But every now and then there's one that doesn't, so mm -hmm. you would not want to be wearing that one. You don't want to jiggle out of the yeah, costume. Yeah, no, no. Um, we don't have any questions or comments, but we okay. should say hello to Renee and oh, to Renee! Abby. Hi, Renee! <laughs> so I didn't say hi to them yet. So hello, hey, ladies. Who? And Renee and Abby. Abby, yay! Yay! <laughs> yay! All right. Good, good, good. All right. Hopefully, you girls got to catch that last. <laughs> that look. That was for you girls. Little <laughs> bouncing chest. <laughs> nice. All right. I also like. It feels like much more. Um, like I can have bigger breath just from yeah. doing those yeah. moves. So yeah. You're beautiful. open. I feel open. Yeah. Yeah. So everything has a benefit. Everything you think. Oh, I don't know if I like this, and then oh, and that actually feels pretty good. All right, we're going to come back to the ribs, right. but I'm, I'm reminding myself of other things, bouncy things, <laughs> that we can do. All right? All right. And yeah. To so, loosen things up? Yeah. Yes, let's so do we're going to move down to the feet, and we're going to look at heel bounces and then heel accents. All right? So okay. when, now this is a very classic Egyptian style. It's not uh, a modern a style or contemporary or fusion or it's really a classic Egyptian but it's a beautiful little accent move and so what you do is you get on the ball of your feet and you lift up and the beat is on the down you're going to drop 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 surprise bonus your chest bounces <laughs> I'm dropping I'm like oh I'm doing that chest bounce and I'm not even trying <laughs> but if you lift tall, one, two, one, two, one, two. So when, when you do this, you want to stretch up because you don't want everything jumping so much up and down. Again, watch the support in the front, right? But lift and drop, 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 drop. How much do you lift your heel off the floor? I would say half an inch to an inch. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Just enough. Yeah. All right. And, and when you land, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty thud. Right? It, it's got some weight there. You should definitely feel it in your whole body. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Bounce, 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 bounce. And you just notice I'm fairly tall, right? And the arms are in a nice position wherever you, you know, however you want them to be. I just stick them in second. And your chest is lifted and your shoulders are down. It's one, two, do, 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 do. So those are called heel bounces, because that's exactly what they are, mm -hmm. and we do them a lot just in place, it, it can, like on a shimmy, right, so you can bounce, 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 bounce as a shimmy, while you're doing other shimmies, it's a nice, it mixes, and then you can also do them layered underneath other things. So let's just shift the hips left and right. Keep it easy. Get a comfortable place. When you're too wide, you can't bounce so well. So legs more parallel. Get a small bounce going. And now push your hip side to side. I'm going to step a little wider. You have to find where you can push your hip and bounce at the same time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Now try it in a circle. So you'll be doing a large hip circle, right? And you'll be bouncing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the other way. One, two, five, six, seven, eight. The trick is keeping 
that weight on the ball of the foot, right? <laughs> when you're circling the here going, whoa, where am I? You can't put your weight in your heels because they're bouncing. So keep your weight in the ball of the foot so that you can bounce. Now, it adds percussive, percussive movement and you want to wear it or you want to use it when you're wearing a noisy costume because part of the reason we wear coins and whatnots and bells because we want to hear them, right? Well, you can't, well, you can sort of hear it, but mm -hmm. if you bounce, you're going to have jingle, 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 right? So it's, it's kind of wasted if you don't wear something that either moves a lot or makes noise. So if you're just wearing a subtle scarf, I would say don't even worry about this move because you're just going to look like you're, <laughs> you're not going to look that good. <laughs> Right, you're like, why is she doing that? Going on, right? yeah. <laughs> but if you have fringe that moves when you bounce, or coins that make noise, then it makes sense to bounce, right? Yeah, that looks yeah. really good. Fringe. Yeah, yeah. So circle and bounce, and reverse circle. There, nice, and bounce. Now you can also use the heel bounce, just one, as a stop, right? So um, let's say we want to walk or do a basic Egyptian or any kind of figure, any kind of movement at all. And we're going to go to a spot and we're going to land, um, right? So it's, it's, a, it's kind of, I am here. <laughs> Everybody look, because this is where I'm standing and I'm here. So yeah, it gives, it gives you a landing, right? Mm -hmm. So take a figure eight walk, just go somewhere, four counts, and then on five, bounce. One, two, three, four, five. And then something else, <laughs> right? So it, it gives you a, huh, right? It, it, it's a, I don't know, what, I don't, I'm, what am I trying to say the word? It's an exclamation mark that makes you arrive in the spot that you're in. Right. Here I am, this is where I'm standing. So let's do figure eight, land, up to a shoulder shimmy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So do you see how it kind of makes an accent, right? It shows you, huh, something's gonna happen, and this is what it is. Right? So, the, get, the, ready, get, <laughs> get ready for it. So, these are cool little accents that I really love. And you, like I said, you'll see them a lot in classic Egyptian performances. Right? It's just super, super pretty. Um, you may know Virginia, one of my favorite dancers. She's back east. She teaches some amazing classes. I've taken a few already in this uh, time that we're in. But she does a lot of these. In fact, that's where I grabbed it from. Because <laughs> I thought, I love that. I forgot to teach that. Um, so check Virginia out and you'll see she's a classic Egyptian but with a very, very creative twist. Um, her stuff is very complex and really fun to watch. So um, check it out. It's, I think, Virginia Rockstar, right? With a K. Yeah. Virginia Rock, R-A-K, star. And um, you'll, you'll, be, you'll be excited. <laughs> I was excited. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Walk one and two and three and four and five, six, Seven, eight, go back. Two, three, four, and land. Six, seven, go one more place. One, two, three, four, and land. Da 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 da. -da. Nice, nice. Now let's say you're going to, um, you want to use both. Space them out because you don't want to go land and then boop 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 boop. I don't personally think that's a great idea. It one takes away from the other, right? So use them, but space them out. So, so they can be equally impressive. Yes, exactly. Because <laughs> one will take away from the other. Impressive. So <laughs> yes. So let's do a, a Shanae turn, and then land. And that's kind of pretty here. And then let's undulate back, and then bounce around in a circle. Okay. So we'll just right. throw a couple of things together. And I don't have a whole lot of side sides. So I'm just going to kind of go forward and back, but um, you can go anywhere. <laughs> so, shinne turn, bounce, shoulder shimmy. Lift your ribs, shimmy, and undulate. Now stop the shimmy. Back, two, three, 
four and bounce two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. I like that. That was cute. Yeah, I like that. Nice so nice. whatever pops in your head, that just popped in my head. So let's do that thing again. <sighs> Ready? Shane, turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Walk back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And bounce. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The bounce is supposed to be faster. I was going bump, 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 bump. That looks really dumb. <laughs> Don't do what I did. Accent over the Yeah, track. and just kind of thud, thud. I got all confused. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, good. All right, so from there, then as we're coming around with our lovely little hip bounces here, let's lift a hip and come up into some lifted vertical figure eights on the up. Yes. And then what we're gonna do is go into a step that we haven't done for a while, you guys may remember. It's an oldie but goodie, the gush step. Do you remember the yeah, gush step? I oh, I love this step. So, I'm heading left, hands on hips. One, two, three, touch. Right, two, three, again. Left, two, three, touch. Right, two, three, touch. Okay, and that will get, now we're moving into our hips and then we'll get back into our ribs. All right. We can release yes. it on this now. We're yeah. trying. <laughs> All right. Janae yeah. turn. Land. Shoulder shimmy. Layer over undulation. I think that looks really pretty. Shoulder shimmy over undulation. Now stop the shoulders. Undulate back. Heel bounce in a circle. Let's do two of them. Figure eight vertical. And gush. Good, two more. One, two, three, touch. One, two, three, touch. All right, should we try music? Yes. Let's just see. Just, I would love that. Just see what happens. I would love that. You know, put those accents in there. Accents are good. We mm -hmm. like accents. Mm -hmm. All right, are we going to play? Yeah. Let's see what the next. We'll see what this um, tempo is. See if it's going to work. Double check. I think we have a. Uh, uh, I don't know what. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Does it? I think it stays like this. It stays this. like this, doesn't it? Yeah.
happen to fit and feel good on your body, but it's a nice way to help you throw in some of those bouncy, bouncy That's accents. Cool. Yeah. yeah. All right, so moving back up into the rib cage. One of my favorite moves is on, while we're on that gushy figure eight kind of thing, is doing that move with your ribs. So where right. are you, let me do it with my hips one more time. So where you come down, out, up, in, down, out, up, in, right there. That shape is going to be created with the rib cage right here. So take the right side down, out, up, and in. Down, out, up, and in. By in, I just mean center to where you started. So we take one side out, up, around, and then back to where you started, and then down, out, up, around, back to center. So you make a circle on one hip, or what is this, a rib, <laughs> and one circle on the other rib, and then you marry them together. All right, so let's try side and side. Now what you have to watch is your sh little shoulder, it's gonna go like this, <laughs> all right? It's gonna here, let me, let me just, let me assist. Just, yeah, right. let me just do, and pretty, pretty soon you end up half swimming and, <laughs> and half rolling your arm Somewhere in there is a rib. Pretending but, yeah. an airplane. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, then there's that one. <laughs> <laughs> right? So do your best to leave your shoulder and your arms out of it. Remember the principle of your frame when you dance. Your arms are holding, you've got a huge frame around you. Your hands are touching the frame. You're holding steady. The movement you're doing is inside that frame. Now, of course, the shoulder moves a little bit. Yes, it's attached. It has to go with me, but what I don't want is you to roll it and try to do the movement with the shoulder. And it's very common to lift the rib and then lift your shoulder at the same time. You have to try really hard to keep it down. All right, so attach yourself to your frame and let's work on this vertical which, figure eight. Which, um like where, which muscles and things are you actually it is like your, um, Yes, it's your um, upper attachment of your obliques, right underneath the side of your ribcage, right. right there. And I'm sure that's connected oh, to the diaphragm. And however you visualize the waist section, you've got your rectus abdominis right here, but there's also up over here and then your lower obliques down here. So right underneath you know when we're twisting and we all get that air bubble right there that oh, thing cramp yeah that <laughs> cramp that and you if you go huh, and you tighten you can feel that muscle right there right under your ribs that's the one all right so contract that muscle down squeeze it down and then push out lift up and back to center as you're coming back to center the next side slides down out up and back to center. Get as much movement as you can. You have to be looser in the rib cage. So our little warm up that we did, our little stretch here, and the sliding of the ribs, this will all facilitate this move happening. Or sometimes you just have a rough day and it just won't move as much. <laughs> and tomorrow it might be better, mm -hmm. right? Because you know it's, it has a lot to do with your upper back and the tension that you have in your upper back. And my upper back is so happy right now. Because I've been, what have I been? Six, eight, eight and a half hours. Mm -hmm. Time two, today, yeah. yesterday too. Yesterday and today, eight and a half hours at a time. I'm trying to stand up and walk around. I'm in a virtual fitness conference. I'm getting um, my certification for group fitness again. <laughs> I have to keep redoing it every two years. So this is my training and I'm learning a ton, but uh, I'm not moving much. <laughs> Not moving much. My brain is getting quite full. So this feels fabulous. All right, so we're holding our hips down. Now we're going to release them and we're going to let the whole body go because this is just a, a nice S shaped movement, the beginning of a snake, right? So you have the ribs. Now you can take it on the bottom like, you, like we just did and bring that vertical up and now you have a hip, right? But what if you marry them and put them together, then you have a whole figure eight S shape. It, it ceases, 
We have some, okay. If the eight on the top connects to the eight on the bottom, they cease to become figure eights and they turn into one giant S. Is right, what happens. Yeah. Because they move in opposition. So it looks like you've got your body like a snake. It looks like you're doing an S shape. You don't see figure eight, figure eight, you see S, right? And it works beautifully. So for, for me, it's easier to start with the top. Mm, me too. And you too, yeah. and then release the bottom. All right, so wide base, down you go, pick your favorite side, back and forth. You're shifting your weight a little bit, but hold your hips steady. Hold them steady. All right, now when you go to the side, pick up your heel and let your foot release. Let your hip release, look what happens. I didn't do anything, the hip does that by itself. Over here, and see, it's the body counterbalancing itself. So, to the side, now pick up the hip, now, if you're comfortable and you're getting going, now you can really accent and make the hip more prominent. They're both going to be the same, but the hip doesn't have to just counterbalance, the hip can actually move. So I'm not only letting it happen, but I am lifting and contracting with my waist. So my contraction is up here in the, in the rib, uh, upper oblique, and then it's also down here in the lower. So the whole side of my body is caving in. There, good. Now also on this one, you don't go up in your toes very much. You stay down and you plie a little lower than you normally would. Our normal dance demi plie is right about here. That's what's comfortable. But when you're doing a figure eight on the hips, vertical up, it, see, it, it can't, it's not big enough. But if you get down here, and you add some bend with the quads and the knees, now your figure eight's really cool because <laughs> it gets really big. So as soon as you start working on the bottom, squat yourself down and do it a little lower. So here we go. Upper body, lower body. Now sink down into it and really work those quads and knees and balls of the feet and let your arms just float. I don't, I don't think you should do any other additional, just your arm kind of naturally waves, but don't try to do other stuff because then it's just too much. Like we too got the body yeah. and then we got, I mean, it's just too much going on. The beauty of this dance is taking one or two moves and, and doing them really well and framing them the rest of, with the rest of your body. So keep your hands nice and neutral, arms neutral. Watch the shoulders, ribs really high. Now remember, we're not going up and down at all. So stay lifted, we're going sideways. So the rib, this lift of the rib stays the whole time. When you come down, you don't sink into the front. You stay lifted the whole time. Excellent, excellent, good. And it should feel lovely. Mm, it really does. Yep. All right, we're going to talk a little bit about the pumping of the legs and the feet, the technique for making this smooth. What I see sometimes is right side, left side, right side, <laughs> left side, right? There's a magic technique. <laughs> it's actually from, ooh, that looked like a good <laughs> comment. <laughs> yeah, it's I see a, a lot of writing. Let's see what that one is. <laughs> What's that? It's Iwani. Oh, Iwani! Yay! <laughs> Well, we were back. talking about how like it helps to really breathe well for this oh, one. It sure does because all your lungs are mushed in there and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and you and really. Like, he actually made a good point too, saying that holding your breath makes it more difficult. It does. Yeah. Yeah. You, so have, you to, have to breathe yeah. for it to actually work. Because <laughs> <work. laughs> your lungs are getting all mushed mm -hmm. around with all this movement. So yeah, good point. A very good point. It's high. <laughs> <laughs> so this little great technique, it's actually they use it a lot with um, Hawaiian dance. If you've watched that lately, especially the men. So you're down. All right. Now, so we're gonna we're not gonna do Hawaiian dance, but I'm gonna show you the technique. So they're knee pops. All right. So you're down and you're flat. I want you to bend as far as you can so that the next inch that you bend, your heels would have to come off the ground, right? There's that point where your tendon is as far as it's gonna go. And then what I want you to do is pop your ankle and your knee forward. That's it. Forward, forward. Now when you do this, 
don't come up. It's not a height change. It's just forward, back, forward, forward, forward. Good. Now, knee pop and hold it. Put one foot down. Now alternate. Don't change heights. <laughs> not this. <laughs> da -da, no, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. I feel like no. that's a whole like old school like aerobics, you know. Like, yes, you know, I know. <laughs> not to warm up our feet. You, you don't want it to be like that. <laughs> not so much. Just so, having a head like a sweat band is great. Pop. <laughs> One heel down, other heel down. Pop, 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 pop. So what you're feeling is your, your feet and your knees are changing height. You are not. So you're taking up the slack with your legs. And my quads are getting warm. Hello <laughs> quads. It's a very nice feeling, right? Mm -hmm. So one more time, here we go. Pop, whoops, <laughs> balance, lift tall, pop, release, pop, release. Pop and hold, now alternate. One up, one down, one up, one down, one up, one down. All right, so that is the technique that you're using when you do this nice, gushy, low, full body figure eight or lower hip figure eight on the up vertical, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So th think about that. <laughs> and the most important thing is to not pop up in the middle. As long as you don't pop up in the middle, um, your knees can do weird things until you get it mastered because sometimes they go too far out to the side. <laughs> Just remember, you'll probably have a skirt on, right? And if you're right. a man, it'll look okay because it's, it's sort of a masculine look anyway. So either way, it's going to be fine. But you're going to try to get them to go a little bit more forward. Might end, might end up right about here. So with that in mind, start your eight on the bottom. All right, now you feel it extra squat as you come up here and you bring that hip down you see where you are now you have to pop your knee on the other side to do the other side and then pop the knee and pop the knee so this up down motion when the knee goes up that is helping to push the hip up and then the next knee pushes the hip up and up and this technique helps you stay still and you don't jump up and down so now add the upper body, stay elongated. This is a sideways move, vertical to the side. Keep your chest lifted, stomach engaged, and pop one knee and one knee. Keep an eye on the crown of your head. Make sure that you're at the same height that you always are. Right? You're not gonna change heights with this movement. Good, a few more now, really move those ribs. Good. All right, so now hands on hips, stop the upper body. Now just move into what we were doing, the gush. This old, oldest move is thousands of years old. One of the oldest steps ever recorded. So do the knee pop. And it really gives you a lot of control. I find it feels lovely on the ball of my foot, my ankles. I really feel like I'm just pressing and really getting into the ground. I feel almost like I'm squishing grapes. That's right? a good description, yes. I feel a little grape That's squishy. really yeah. great. We so here we are. Now take it to the side. One more. And side. 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 And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And touch. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two more, one, two, three, and touch, one, two, three, and touch. So with that knee popping technique, you're going to be so much smoother. Mm -hmm. I feel just like I'm floating on wheels. It's very, and your legs will get really strong. And yeah. as you found out, just doing this is really great right? as a warm up for your balls, your feet, your ankles, your balance, right? And your knees and your quads. So you can just hang out <laughs> and do that and that feels really good. I think if you did that and a little choo-choo shimmy, a couple squats, you'd be good to go. So good, so good. <laughs> you'd be really good so to good. go. Really I, was actually, good. I was actually thinking about that earlier. The, the, this knee pop thing is the thing that makes it look like you're floating. Yes, it does. 
And so that you'll like everything is like that whole like just suspended in mid air. Uh -huh. That's what's happening yeah. with yeah. it. It's totally yeah. That. You look very floaty, and a yeah. lot of a lot of people they don't do it. They're just gently on their toes, but there's still an up and down motion. And what it you can't pop your knees if you're here. You have to be down. Yeah. You have to get low, and that requires you that step. You you need to be low. Oh, you're pretty. <laughs> So, and you look totally like your head is in exactly the same yeah, spot. Yeah, exactly. Like it's not, it's not doing right, the right, right. Super, right. super. Like you're holding your head in yeah. place. <laughs> yeah. And so it's very leg driven. All right. So let's just throw this together one more time, and then to I'll turn you. Have anything loose. to put back here? Any, any other questions? <laughs> issues? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I need to do things. That's how Elvis did his scan. I think I got that shit. He did. You <laughs> like this? I think he did. <laughs> And you pop to the side. Like did. Yep. I bet. Yeah, it looks familiar. It looks the Thank same to me. <laughs> I think it does. That's a good point. That's funny. I, I love that one. <laughs> yep. All right. So we'll just put on the same tempo. So, Shanae turn and heel accent and then shoulder shimmy. Undulation, undulate back. Heels will bounce in a circle into a uh, figure eight, into a bush. And then we'll do the full body figure eight too. Okay. All right. Yeah. We'll just follow you, right? subscribe go ahead and subscribe I think we have some ones posting pretty soon right? mm -hmm. we had a whole bunch come this week we had like five that were put up so we have um, I think everything except Wednesday's class and today's class is on I think I, I was on there today doing something and I think I saw 53 something like that up there so there's a couple warm-up videos mm -hmm. and a bunch oh, of yeah, that's because so. we, have, we have a two warm-up videos and then I think one class well, yeah, that was, that was it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Anyway, a whole bunch of good stuff. On yeah, YouTube. good stuff. All right. Um, oh, and then don't forget you have your beginner class. Oh yeah, I've got one week left. Um, it's, it, we're having a great time. I'm doing a beginning belly dance right from the very from the very beginning to get 
people more of an introduction who've maybe never experienced the dance before. So a good chance to uh, recruit some of your friends and um, tell them to hop on. I've got another class left. They can go to my blog on my website or Eventbrite and just look up Malia Nelson and you'll, or look up Belly Dance and there I'll be, right? Yeah. And they can just get a single ticket. And your website is super easy, Malia.com. Malia.com. <laughs> That's it. That's All right, guys. Thanks again. I'm going to say bye this way and do things behind the side. Bye, everybody. And I will see you very soon. Thank you so much for joining me. And have a great, great weekend.